Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn about adaptation in plants. Earth is surrounded by different kinds of plants. We can see some plants grow on land and some grow in water. Some plants grow on plain area and some grow on hills and mountains. Some plants grow on surface of water and some grow deep inside the water. Plants grow in different conditions have different body features. These features help them live comfortably in a particular place. The body feature and habit that help a living thing live in its natural surrounding are called adaptation. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Mango tree, rose shrub, watermelon and cactus are some example of terrestrial plants. Plants need to adapt for three main reasons. Number one, to survive harsh environmental conditions such as climate. Number two, protect themselves against predators. Number three, to be more successful when living alongside competitors. Adaptation in desert plants. Cacti are a good example of how a plant has adapted to desert habitats. Desert are hot and dry environments. So it takes a special kind of plant to able to survive in such harsh conditions. A cactus plant has adapted in many ways in order to survive. It has a thick waxy skin that stops water evaporating from the plant too easily. They grow deep roots called tap roots. These bury themselves deep down the ground to reach underground water stores. They also have extensive shallow root system which cover a large surface area and are able to absorb even the first drop of rain. Cacti have thick fleshy stems in which they can store water inside. A desert plant cannot afford to lose water. Thus in cactus plant, the leaves are reduced to sharp and pointed spines to prevent loss of water. These spines also protect the plant from grazing animals. Most cactus flowers bloom at night as flowers cannot survive in heat of the daytime. Adaptation of plants of coastal region. Trees in coastal areas are well adapted to grow in sandy soil, salty water and high rainfall. They have strong stems that can withstand strong winds. They have long roots that grow deep into sandy soil. These roots also firm anchor the plants. Coconut and palm tree grow well in these areas. They have large fruits that remain af afloat in sea water for many days and can give rise to new plant on reaching the shore. The leaves are thick and are formed many long strips to bear the force of strong wind. Adaptation in plants of rainforest. Rainforest are found in warm regions that get heavy rains throughout the year. In these areas, most plants have smooth stems which allow water to quickly flow towards the ground. The leaves have waxy surface and drip tip to get enough sunlight. Trees in rainforest grow very tall. Adaptation of plants in marshy or swampy areas. Marshy areas have sticky and clay soil. In these areas, it is difficult for plant to grow as air cannot reach the roots. Thus, roots of these plants grow out, the so out of the soil to breathe from the air. Such roots are called breathing roots. Trees growing in marshy areas are called mangroves. Rhizophoria, Avicennia are example of mangroves. Adaptation of plants in mountain. Plants on mountains and hills are adapted to grow in very cold temperature. Most plants are tall and straight. They are cone shaped so that 
Snow falls off easily from their surface. They have needle-like leaves to prevent too much water loss. The trees have a trunk with a thick bark. These trees do not bear fruit but they have seeds in cones that are called conifers or coniferous trees. Pine, fir, devdar are example of plants in ma- mountains. The plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. There are three types of aquatic plants. Floating aquatic plants, fixed and underwater aquatic plants. Adaptation in floating plants. These plants are similar to a sponge. They have lots of empty space filled with air. This makes these plants very light. Thus the plants are able to float on the surface of water. The upper surface of the leaves is usually waxy to repel the water. The roots of these plants are not fixed and hang loosely in water. Duckweed, Wolfia, Pistia and water hyacinth are the example of floating plants. Fixed plants. Fixed plants have roots fixed in the bottom of the water body. They have long stems to reach the surface of the water. Their leaves are broad and have waxy coating to stay dry and prevent from rotting. Lotus and water lily are fixed water plants. Adaptation in underwater plants. Some plants like hydrilla are fixed to the bottom of the water body and remain fully underwater. These plants do not have stomata and carbon dioxide comes out of the leaves through the surface. These plants prepare food using the sunlight that filter through the water. If you find this video useful, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you. Bye bye.